Hi, Moz fans. I'm Ola King. I'm a user researcher here at Moz, and I'm excited to join you today for another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Today, I'll be talking to you about the next search intent. Um, in a previous Whiteboard Friday, I mentioned the three bosses of SEO, and one of the factors that I uh, mentioned affecting SEO are the search intents behind uh, each and every search. So everyone performing a search on a search engine is looking for something and the search intent is the purpose behind that search. And as an SEO, satisfying that search intent is critical to the success of your content. Uh, Brittany Miller has a very uh, in-depth Whiteboard Friday on this topic already, so I'm not going to be covering that. Um, Logan Bryant also has another topic uh, called the Eden search intent, so that's something you should uh, check out as well. But today, I am going to be talking about uh, what happens after you've satisfied the initial search intent, so the next search intent. So what's next search intent? Well, if you're looking at uh, search as a journey, the next search intent is the next step on a searcher's journey. That is what someone will most likely be looking for next after they've completed uh, the objective of a particular uh, page. Um, so if search intent helps a searcher stay on your page, next search intent helps a searcher stay on your site. Um, so why is this important? Well, SEO is not just about ranking. Um, in order to really maximize your efforts for SEO, you have to start thinking about how are your pages converting? Um, how do the pages move people into uh, next stages in your funnel? So funnel optimization. What's the user experience for your searchers? Uh, what's the customer journey like? And how are they engaged with the relevant contents that you want them to be engaging with? And how is this helping you retain your ideal customers or searchers? And how is each and every content until linking with other piece of content that you have on your site? And also the traffic distribution as well. So how is, um, how are you moving traffic from the top performing pages into pages that might not be getting as much traffic? So um, how do you perform, you know, how do you implement next search intent? Well, the goal of next search intent is really to identify what people are most likely to search for next and then nudge the searchers into uh, those next uh, actions. So you can do this with simple call to actions. Um, embeds on pages and links from one page to another, or you can get more advanced by tweaking your navbar, making things a bit customized, adding a read next uh, section to each one of your pages, having uh, launchers that pop up, um, so many different ideas. Uh, pretty much your goal is just to think of a particular page and think as a user, as a searcher, what would I most likely need next after I've consumed this information. So some ways to get ideas is to understand your searcher's persona, um, look at similar keywords that might be related to what your page is ranking for, look at other ranking keywords uh, that you are ranking for as well, um, look at what your competitors are ranking for that you might not be ranking for. This might give you ideas of your blind spots for content that might not be relevant for your particular page, but other related pages. Uh, understand the curiosity journey. So this is like customer journey, but instead of looking at your funnel, you're trying to look at, in terms of an information, let's call it map, what was, what's, would someone want to know about next? Um, focus on the user experience as well. Um, providing the most relevant information, it always helps uh, with a good user experience. Check your Google Analytics and see uh, what pages are people visiting when they land on a particular page. That will give you clues into what uh, next page or next intent that they want. And you can also look on Google, just search for a keyword and you can see for some keywords that people search next as well. And that's uh, the most obvious way to find the next search intent. So how do you do this? So, well, um, if you watch Brittany's video or other, you know, um, information around the search intent, you would understand that there are four main types of search intent. So informational, commercial, navigational, and transactional. So for informational, um, your goal is really to provide a good user experience and to uh, optimize your funnel so that you can move people or searches from one page to another. 
So you can do this by surfacing related content and then linking to your relevant pages on your site. For the commercial one, your goal is for conversion because a commercial is just about I uh, purchase intent. So you can do this by uh, adding comparison of your competitors' products or similar products that you have on your site, um, adding coupon, uh, discount, and answering any objections that someone might have. So be proactive on the information that would, they would need before they need it, and then surface it onto your, uh, your page. And navigational, the goal is also um, good user experience, uh, retaining people onto your website, and making sure you optimize your journey so that uh, traffic can flow from one page to the most relevant next page. And you can do this with launchers that uh, pop up as users uh, perform certain actions on the page. You can have customized navbars. You can have uh, set up your site links correctly so that um, from the search engines, um, that becomes apparent what page people can visit as well. Um, so for transactional, uh, this is someone already knows what they want and they are just trying to buy things. And your goal in this case is just to uh, convert and upsell. So you want to have your related products uh, surfacing, um, have your product variations, and then have the compatible purchases like you know Amazon, um, people also buy type of thing. And you can put a little demo as well uh, to help the user searchers who might be uh, looking for how your product works in real life um, by uh, be proactive and have that on your page. But yeah, so that really is the next uh, search intent. If you have any ideas that I might have missed, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to reach out and um, I would love to learn from you as well. Uh, the main key points to learn about this is uh, when it comes to SEO, you want to think about things in a holistic um, way. You don't want to just look at one page on your site. You want to look at how each page connects and uh, understanding the next search intent allows you to uh, bring value from one page that is performing well to other pages on your website so that your entire site can be, um, can be blooming. But yeah, thanks for joining me today and see you next time.